hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm gonna be doing this makeup look over here so if you guys want to see how i did this look please keep on watching all right guys so as you can see i already did my brows so i'm gonna leave a link over here of how i do them now as you can see we're gonna use the jacqueline hill palette from morphe and we're gonna start with this shade that is gonna go to the crease so we can start being, building up the colors that we're gonna go for now we're gonna use this color over here which is like a deeper shade from the first one that we applied um, I'm gonna apply in the same place just on the crease just to build up more color to give more dimension to the eyes now I'm gonna start applying this shade over here same place that I applied the other ones, just on the crease, again, to build up the color. Now I'm going to use this more like a pinky warm shade. And again, I'm going to apply it in the same place as the other ones that I applied before. using this more like a reddish warm shade and I'm gonna apply on my crease and my outer V. Now I'm gonna apply this reddish shade and again I'm gonna apply it in the same place that I apply all the other shadows. Okay, so now we're gonna apply this burgundy shade. And I'm applying it only on my outer V. And I'm gonna blend it out upwards. this brownish reddish shadow I'm gonna apply on my outer V again blending it upwards like the shade we applied before now I'm gonna use my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I'm gonna cut only the center of my eye um, I'm doing like a cut halo eye if that makes sense it's been very popular right now so I wanted to try it out um, I'm gonna blend the concealer with the eyeshadows Now I'm going to spray my e.l.f. Mist and Set on my brush and I'm going to be applying these two shimmery shades. One is more pinky, one is more reddish. I'm going to apply the red one first and then I'm going to apply on top the pinky one.
now to blend out the edges I'm gonna apply this dark brown color I'm gonna apply it in the outer V and inner V of the eye so everything blends out together I want the shimmer and the mattes to blend out so everything looks seamless so there's no hash line so there's no harsh lines on the makeup look now I'm gonna apply this super shock shadow from Colourpop in the shade Ritz and I'm gonna apply it on top of the shimmer shades that I applied before now I'm gonna be using the Ciate London liquid liner I'm gonna apply it on my upper lash line and that would be it I'm not gonna make a wing I just want my lashes to blend out with the falsies that I'm gonna apply later Now I'm going to use the professional primer from Benefit and I'm going to apply it on my face wherever I want my pores to be covered. Also as you can see I already applied my lashes. I used one from Eyelore. I'm not sure the name because I don't have the box anymore. But yeah, they're from Eyelore. And I like them because they're very dramatic and I feel like it goes with the look that we did on the eyes. Now I'm gonna be applying the peach shade that this concealer collection has on my under eye so I can cover my dark circles. And I'm applying this before foundation and my regular concealer because I feel like this way it covers my dark circles the best. For foundation, I'm going to be using my L'Oreal True Match in the shade Warm Beige. And I'm going to apply it with the brush first and then I'll blend it out with my beauty sponge. For my under eye concealer, I'm going to be using my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light Sand. I'm just applying this on my under eyes. To conceal the rest of my face, I'm going to be using my Fit Me Concealer in the shade Light. And I'm going to apply it on my forehead, nose, cupid's bow, and chin. Now to contour my face, I'm going to be using this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer in the shade 
dark cocoa. I'm gonna apply it on my cheeks, my forehead, and my nose. going to be using this Lumi liquid glow from L'Oreal in the shade rose I'm gonna apply it on my cheeks a little bit on my nose my cupid's bow my chin and then I'm gonna blend it out just to make like a liquid base for the powder highlight To set my face, I'm going to be using my Flower Beauty Translucent Powder. I'm just going to set everywhere that I apply concealer. And a little bit all over my face so my makeup doesn't move throughout the day. Now to bronze my face I'm going to be using the darkest shade of this Wet n Wild contour palette and I'm going to apply it wherever I usually contour. For blush, I'm going to be using this Amazonian Clay Blush from Tarte in the shade Party. I'm going to apply it on my cheeks just to add a little bit of color to my face. As you guys can see, I'm applying the same shades that I apply in my crease on my lower lash line just to smoke it out a little bit more and just to give some color to my under eye. Mascara, I'm gonna be using my voluminous mascara from L'Oreal. I'm gonna apply it to my bottom lashes. Now, to highlight my inner corners and my brows, I'm gonna be going back to the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm gonna use that pink shade for my inner corner and then I'm gonna be applying. In this lightest shade in the brow bone. Now to highlight the rest of my face, I'm going to be using the Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit from Anastasia and I'm going to use Kitty Cat for the rest of my face.
for lips, I'm using this NYX lip cream in the shade Tokyo and I'm just applying it to my lips. To set my face, I'm using the e.l.f. Mist and Set. I'm applying it all over my face and I'll let it dry for a little bit. Alright guys, so this is the final result. I hope you guys um, understood everything that I said on the voiceover. If you have any questions, please leave it down below. Um, if you have any questions about any product, I will leave them down below too so you can know where to get them. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video if you did please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe before you leave and share it with your friends so we can get to 150 subscribers soon um, uh, as always I will leave my social media down below so make sure to go and follow me over there too so yeah I'll see you guys on my next video bye Claro